Merry Christmas to everyone, including Rath. Uh, <clears throat> CNN does have some good, good crap. They really do. So, on the front page of CNN this morning is, How close is the U.S. to civil war? Closer than you think, Steady says. Okay, so let's, let's click on it. But obviously I'm not going to just simply play the video. But uh, uh, a summation is... Uh, the rigid refusal by lawmakers to compromise underscores the disturbing findings of one study on democracy in the U.S. According to a Washington Post editorial, data from the Center for Systemic Peace finds the U.S. no longer technically qualifies as a democracy after the Trump administration years. It's somewhere between a democracy and an autocratic state. Uh, which is true. Now, she goes on to say it all took place in the last five years. Well, it didn't. Uh, what led to it was uh, a huge thing is when Kennedy got shot, that the information system started to be dismantled because everything then became a conspiracy. Everything became a conspiracy. And then you had Bigfoot and everything. But when Kennedy got shot, and people that are older consistently say the same thing, that when Kennedy got shot, everything started going downhill because everything became a conspiracy. So what that means is that in uh, trials, uh, elections, uh, you know, the, the two main foundations, well, two of three. The other is that the information system was destroyed that uh, people in colleges, they're conspiracies. Um, everything got wiped out. So everything got totally dismantled over a period of decades where, you know, you got to the point where the Earth is flat and we didn't land on the moon. But the start of it was when Kennedy got shot. Okay, now she goes on to say... Uh, Barbara Walter is a professor of international relations at the School of Global Policy and Strategy at the University of California, San the country's democracies and proximity to upheaval. So if the U.S. were looking at another country... Uh, her, her point is that it all happened in five years because of Trump. Well, you know, I, dis I disagree. When Kennedy got shot, that was the unraveling where people didn't trust anything. They didn't trust their government. Nobody honors elections, whether when George Bush was elected or when Reagan was elected. And then the, the last part was when Trump got elected. I don't give a damn what side you're on. I didn't, uh, I didn't vote for him uh, the second time. But uh, when Trump got elected, that, uh, you know, you had half the country painting on their head with uh, felt pins, he ain't my president. Okay, now what they did was they destroyed the country uh, by doing it. Or a trial, a trial happens and nobody accepts the trial and so they burn down the cities. So it's what I've been saying that uh, it is like a civil war. A civil war is kind of taking place and uh, that, anyway, that's why I hate narrating. I have to think of everything I'm saying. But uh, then look below. Look below on uh, CNN on the same page. You know, the, the front page of CNN. How close is the U.S. to civil war? Closer than you think. And that's what I've been saying. Many people have been saying. Uh... Now, retired generals, down below, retired generals share a chilling warning ahead of 2024 election. Okay, so let's click on that. So I'm kind of directing you, anybody that wants to look at them, to look at these, not try to read the screen and listen to me babble. What's interesting here is that ultimately a lot of this is, is a big Rorschach test for the country. I mean, Republicans who believe, who want to downplay January 6th, who don't believe that it was a coup, uh, they are going to continue to believe that no matter all. It was a coup. It was an attempted coup. So off over here to the side, 
discuss a Washington Post op-ed. Now, sure, it's the Washington Post, but they are retired generals. And they say they are chilled to our bones at the thought of a coup succeeding next time. And warn that the U.S. military needs to prepare now for a 2024 um, insurrection, civil war. And um, I, I agree. Uh, the problem with a, a coup, it, it depends on the situation. Sometimes a coup can overthrow an evil dictator that is making everybody work and starving to give us free sugar. So if a coup does take place, let's look at Trump. Like suppose a coup did take place that uh, then people wonder, well, would the country be better off? You know, so that also is a chilling thought. But it is the end of democracy because uh, trials, they're not respected. Elections, they're not respected. You can put a sign in your uh, front yard, I am support of um, Ronald Reagan, and you're, now your house will be burned down and they'll kill the kids. They'll track down the kids. And, you know, so the country is collapsed. Country is collapsed.